name is Afro Daviak. I'm a beauty and lifestyle content creator. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my video so you don't miss out on any of the new content that comes out. So in lieu of spring coming, I wanted to give you guys like a get ready, not really a get ready, but makeup looks. Like just something to help y'all get ready for the weather, okay? With that being said, there is no reason for you to believe in your house without SPF. There's no reason to be leaving your house without sunscreen. I feel like at this point we should all understand it is too hot, there are holes in the ozone layer, and you need to protect yourself. Especially if you're if you're black. Like black people, colored people, melanated people, all people should be covered. But I feel like for some reason, a lot of times melanated people think they don't need sunscreen and don't need to protect their skin because they have lower melanocytes. And that's not true. Just because your melanocytes protect you doesn't mean you shouldn't go back and care for them. So with that being said, I wanted to bring you guys a spring look. I'll give, I'll probably give a tutorial. If you guys want, I'll give you a tutorial on this look. But it's mainly about how to maintain your makeup with SPF. So I'm going to show you how to not only not look ashy, because you know some, some sunscreens just be throwing you off. But you're not going to look ashy, but at the same time you're not going to mess up your makeup by making sure you are using SPF. So if you guys want to go see that, be sure to watch the rest of the video. Okay, so the first step in having like bomb makeup with SPF and sunscreen is prepping your skin. So a lot of the times people just go straight into primer not thinking about skincare or how that might affect your skin. Stop, we gotta stop doing that. We just gotta stop doing that. So I already went ahead and put toner on my face like I said in previous videos if you guys haven't seen check out my skincare video because I use the Heritage Rose Water Toner I think it's the Rose Water Toner or it's the Rose Water and Glycerin Toner and then I followed it up with a skin script I think that's what it's called if that's not what it's called I'll put it in the description box below and you guys can see it I use the vitamin C serum and then after that I follow up with my black girl sunscreen and SPF 30 um, so I've been watching videos on how to use SPF, but it, those videos don't necessarily work for me. They'll tell you to use two fingers worth, and it's like, I can't, that's too much. I'm going to use like two, like this is a lot. This is a lot for me. So I'm going to use that much sunscreen after I've like put my toner and my serum. And then, ooh. Oh, I forgot. I also put a moisturizer. Don't forget the moisturizer. Your moisturizer goes before your sunscreen. Oh my God. Guys, I promise this is black girl friendly. That's just funny because it's called black girl sunscreen. It's black girl friendly. It doesn't matte. They do have a matte version that I want to try out. I'm probably going to be using it in the summer if I end up do using makeup in the summer. Because there's no reason for you to be dripping your makeup all over the place. So you might think it starts with a white cast, but I promise you guys, there's this is not gonna be white. You're not gonna have a white cast when you put this sunscreen on. Like I just left, I just put it everywhere. Oh my god, this feels so good. Uh, I forgot to tell you, it's what is it? Infused with jojoba? Yeah, it's infused with jojoba oil and avocado. Jojoba and avocado. It doesn't say oil, and it's supposed to be ultra sheer. There is no fragrance. I I really do like that because, like I said. I don't know if you guys saw in my Fenty Skin review, I tried the sunscreen and I did like the way it felt, but I couldn't take how powerful the scent of the sunscreen was. So for me to have a sunscreen that just feels and smells like nothing, I'm happy. Like I don't need my sunscreen smell like tropics. It's like, no, it was very, it's too intense. As you can see, I look very doing, very hydrated. That's the term, hydrated. It's probably the it's probably the avocado. Because that's what I use in my hair and it keeps it fairly hydrated. So my body likes avocados. Like I love to eat it, love to put the oil in my hair, and as you can see in my sunscreen too. Okay, so just because you put sunscreen doesn't mean you can skip out on primer. As you guys already know, I always use the hangover RX. Hangover hangover prescription. I don't know why I say RX. Hangover prescription replenishing face primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna do my face as I usually do. Just sometimes I like to use the Fenty What I Do. As you guys see, I recently got put onto that, and it felt really good. Maybe I'll use that again, just if I want more of a dewy, hydrated, like water base. 
look, but this is, oh my god, my skin looks so good. Y'all, if y'all had seen what my skin used to look like, like, if y'all caught me in like 2019, oh my god, like, I still have scars from 2019, but it's like, my skin looks so good. <laughs> so. Okay. okay, so now that my face is primed and prepped and also luscious and hydrated, I'm gonna go ahead and do my basic foundation routine. You guys can go ahead and check that out. I have a video on that too, so you already know what I'm gonna do. Um, it's mo now that we've already done the prep, it's more of the after we have to worry about when it comes to like being spring ready, sunscreen, keeping ourselves moisturized, protecting the melanin. So let me go ahead and do my face, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and this is my completed face. As you can see, I'm a little drier than usual, but I'm still not considered matte. Um, so this is my springtime makeup. And as you can see as well, I don't have my lashes. I, found, I want to keep it simple. Like I feel like I've gotten an obsession with lashes and I just gotta cut it. So I went with this. I'm still wearing light mascara. <laughs> That's my mirror, guys. Oh my god, my mirror fell on It's not broken though, so I still have good luck. Yeah, so like I was saying, in order to protect your skin, especially for this come for the spring, you're gonna want to use SPF. So a lot of times people are like telling you to reapply sunscreen. It doesn't make sense for you to reapply sunscreen on top of a fully done face like this. Like I this is a masterpiece. It don't make sense for me to smother stuff all over it and it's gonna come off. So what I found was a replacement for sunscreen but it still does the same work as sunscreen so and it also helps for like reapplying because sunscreen as you know is typically good for about two hours so i went ahead and found this super goop defense refresh resetting mist i i couldn't find a bigger size for this one i think i don't know if this is considered the menu or if it's actually the size but it's a resetting mist and it has an spf of 40. So this is better, this is higher than the SPF I have for the black girl sunscreen. So y'all, y'all protected. And I'm excited. So what you're gonna do is when it's time to reapply sunscreen, you're gonna go ahead and use this. You're gonna spray this. You're gonna shake it first, because you know, I don't know if you can hear it. It's like a I think it's an aerosol can, that's what you call it, right? Aerosol can, and then you're gonna spray. The only thing about this is that it only lasts for 40 minutes. But it is sweat and water resistant. So girl, you're good. Like, after you set your regular face, you set again with this. And then, maybe like 40 minutes, if you actually care about your skin, you 40 minutes, you do it again. And like that. If you want, you can go ahead and pat it with your beauty blender as well, just to set in the spray, but for now, I'm fine. And like that, you're done. You're finished. And you can go ahead and keep applying it throughout the days. This thing is, look, look how small this is. This is travel friendly. Like, y'all don't even need to stretch. Just put it in your purse, put it in your bra if you want to. It gets the job done. And I would recommend maybe trying to avoid your eye. Well, obviously, you should avoid your eyes, but like avoiding your eyeshadow. So, just in case it doesn't like wet it and mess up the look that you might already have. But, yeah. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. I love when you guys continue to support me. Um, please go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, guys, be safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!